Hello and welcome back. Recently I came across a modern LED light bulb from scrap which was not actually a scrap as it worked nicely but anyways I was baffled by a question how can LEDs work on AC mains as they are made for DC supply So in this quest I will answer all of the questions and clear the misconceptions as well as we will build our own small LED light bulb that uses a smart circuit as used by modern LED light bulbs so let's proceed Nowadays LEDs come in different colors and different variations different voltage ratings and so on but when we picture LEDs in our brain the first thing we see is a DC supply but let's clear the misconception though LEDs are made for DC supply they can also be used for AC mains with the help of a current limiting resistor so as you can see with the help of 10 kilo ohm resistor in series with the led 2.2 milliamps of current flow through it and the led glows so why don't modern led light bulbs use a simple series resistor instead of a bit more complex circuitry so there's a catch the series resistor wastes a lot of power then an led itself consumes by calculating it's around 4.4 watts as the applied voltage is 220 volts multiplied by 20 milliampers of current flowing through the led by comparing it with the power consumed by the led which is around 0.06 watts so this series resistor circuitry is quite inefficient so to reduce this effect there is a genius circuitry known as capacitive dropper as you can see in the modern led light bulbs but how does it work so let's delve into it so let's reverse engineer a modern led light bulb circuit and understand the capacitive dropper as well firstly in the circuit there is a dropper capacitor with a discharging resistor so let's focus on this part as the capacitor has a reactance of 1 upon 2 pi fc which provides resistance or impedes the path as talked earlier we use a 10 kilo ohm resistor to flow 20 milliampers of current through the led so same applies here now the value of r will become the value of xc which is 10 kilo ohm and the putting the values in the equation we get the value of c is equals to 6.2 microfarad so instead of wasting real power there is only reactive power circulating in the circuitry and which saves a lot of power and the power loss now will be only on the leds after understanding the main capacitive dropper there is not much of it in the circuitry there is a simple bridge rectifier with discrete diodes which rectifies the mains and the load which in our case are six leds in series but there is also a small component which is 1 kilo ohm resistor in series with the ac supply so why is it used it is basically used to limit the inrush current which does not harm our leds so now let's build our own capacitive dropper circuit with some few components which i had lying around So the model I have built is the same as the schematic I have shown you earlier but there are some minor changes like using three capacitors in series instead of one capacitor due to some discrepancy in capacitor values then a bridge rectifier instead of some discrete diodes as I had laying around then 6 5 mm LEDs instead of 3 mm LEDs then a simple plug which i had salvaged from some another thing and a inrush limiting resistor of 2 watt instead of 1 watt 
सो इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो हिट द बेल आइकन लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विथ सम अनदर फैसिनेटिंग टॉपिक टिल देन गुड बाय